Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge uh, location, a location that is very cool and yesterday I said that I had a little bit of an advantage in this one and the reason I do is because I wanted to employ an anti-cheating maneuver and I don't, I know I didn't do too well at this but I wanted to try and avoid showing this as much as possible so I tried to skirt around it and you know, it perhaps showed like uh, like something like me moving uh, like this, or maybe it showed in the beginning. I kind of went like warm like that. Tried to do it very quickly. So hopefully none of you uh, like paused the video and went to go look at that and went to Google it. Uh, because if you do Google it, you're going to figure out where we likely are. And that's what I did to try and see, is that something I need to avoid? Um, but you know what, this location was so cool that you know, even when I saw that it was like you could just kind of Google this and realize we're in Spain. Uh, even when I saw that, I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm still gonna do the location, because it looks really nice, and I'm gonna just try and avoid it. So, that being said, yeah, I I'm a little bit of a dingle dangler, and, you know, we were, we, we are, we were, we are, we are probably in Spain, is what I'm gonna guess. So, I'm gonna put my guess in Spain. Where in Spain? Well, I'm thinking, because of this big building, I'm thinking we're either in Madrid or Barcelona. Um, which one are we gonna be? Madrid or Barcelona? Let's go with, let's go with Madrid. Let's go right in Madrid. Sure, that sounds good enough for me to so make the guess. No, we were in uh, Bilbao. Bilbao. Hmm. Well, that was very cool indeed. Uh, we were Bilbao, Spain, all the way down here in Parque de Dona Casilda de Iturizar. So there you go if you guys love me reading things that I cannot pronounce well at all. We got a kick out of that. I got 2,607 points. But again, I'm a big cheating dingle dangler. Who knows where I would have guessed. Uh, it's, it's hard for me to put myself in the mindset of where I would have guessed if it wouldn't have been for that. So uh, Bilbao is where we were. Um, hopefully uh, some of you guys got uh, relatively close. Or maybe some of you guys have Spain. I don't know. France, Portugal. Who knows? Uh, Italy. Italy. They're all good guesses, so hopefully some of you guys got closer than others. Alrighty, here we are in today's daily challenge. This one was very cool because it's the first thing that opened up when I just popped open GeoGuessr. This is the first thing that has appeared. This wonderful location right here. Wow, it is really Really, really nice. I mean, super cool. All right, so uh, definitely we're in a big range of mountains, uh, very snowy ones in the distance, nice green fields wherever we are. This place looks really surreal and super, super cool. Lots of big rocks and weird little bushes and then things that stick out. I mean, I don't know. This place looks super cool to me. I think it's awesome. And if you guys know or think you know where this is, Put it down in the comments section below. Tell me, where in the world are we right now? And then, uh, tomorrow's episode, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think this is. So, uh, I'm going to probably be extremely wrong. You guys are going to maybe be able to see that. And then, I'm going to put in the comment section whoever guessed closest. So, put in your guesses. Where in the world do you think this is? Other than uh, the geography, which is the biggest clue, we've got uh, some uh, people over here. You can uh, people watch. What do we got? We got some people. They're wearing shorts. I mean, I, I kind of almost wish they were matching because that would be pretty funny. We got red and white, nice little shorts. Uh, they're walking. So, yeah, people walking this nice trail in this huge mountain range. So where are we in the world right now? Okay, friends. Well, here we are in today's main section of the show. It is the time limited challenge, three minutes on the clock. Now, you guys might be wondering why I don't do the GeoGuessr beta, uh, because it recently got a new update, although I, when I went on it, I couldn't really see any differences between uh, what it was and what it used to be. The reason why is I think there is a way to get a URL, but it's a lot more complicated and annoying than it is to get uh, to get this one. URL.geoguessr.com slash 7TBV, 7TBV. Also, when you do GeoSetter, it doesn't put you in like a beta challenge. It puts you in like a like a regular one. So that's why we're always playing the old classic version. But ev eventually when I start uh, 
you know, doing GeoGuessr beta, maybe I'll make a new thumbnail. That'd be fun. Uh, URL.geoGuessr.com slash 7TBV. Let's go do the challenge. Start time limited challenge accepted. Of course. And where are we now? Well, I mean, this is probably very telling of where we are in the world. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I think, I think we all know where we're going to be. This is obviously a mouse, so that would mean that we are uh, anywhere in the. No, I don't know. It's, it's, it, what? What are those? There's like some weird mice that kind of look like miniature kangaroos. Those things are weird. What are those called? Um. Are, they're, they're not normal mice, but they have, like, big paddly feet. They do have, like, a like a weird tail, and they kind of... I mean, you see mice stand up a lot, but, you, like, they like they kind of jump. What are those miniature kangaroo mice? Those things are pretty cool. I wish I knew what those were called, because then I could have said that. But, no, we're in Australia, right? Yeah, we are. But uh, that'd be cool. So, yeah, if anyone wants to tell me what those mice are called, I think those are those are pretty neat. Uh, they're real cute, though. Sometimes, sometimes I... You know, I, I rarely see them, mostly because I don't, you know, I think uh, it's been a long time since I've been to, uh, to, to the, old, uh, the old cottage with, the, uh, with, um, with, with my parents. So it's been, uh, it's been a long time since I've, ever, since, since I've been there, but I remember, I remember going there as a, as a, as a youngin' and uh, there being some, uh, you know, sometimes you would, you, would see, you would see a mouse scurry in the distance. You'd be like, oh, man, you know, it's like out in the country and it's like a cottage, right? So, you know, my, mice are going to get in. Um, thankfully, I, you know, I don't see them, uh, anywhere where I live, uh, right now, because that, that'd be, that'd be unpleasant, especially, like, mice in an apartment building, that's a real, like, that's a real weird thing, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm not, like, on the ground floor or anything like that, so if, they, if they're coming up here, then, you know, you gotta, you got a slight problem, I think, so there you go, alright, we got, uh, signs on the left-hand side, people are driving on the right side of their vehicles, um, you know, har harvery harvey whoa hervey ray I don't know fuck. It's a golf club. Golfing, that's another thing I haven't done in a while. Golfing, I really like golfing, but god am I like I'm really, really bad at golfing. Like almost unbelievably so. Like you know you buy like a like a box of balls, and not like a like a box of like three, but like a like a case of like like eight, like eighteen golf balls. You get a nice premium package. I'm gonna be losing them all on the course. Uh, you know, sometimes I need to, you know, dip into the woods and go find some balls just because I know I'm gonna run out. I, I, I just, you know, I, most of my shots are wild hook shots that go woo and spin off into the forest. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm teeing off. I mean, the thing about it is, I could probably just hit the ball less hard, but. You know, there's no... F oh, fuck. Uh, I was here. It's middle of Western. Uh, we were down near Perth. Uh, you know, I just kind of wildly clicked. So, there you go. I mean, you could probably hit the ball less hard, and it would, you know, wouldn't have such a crazy impact. It, I, it'd make my golf game much better. But you got to try for the long for the long drives. It's no it's no fun trying for them short ones. Uh, we were near a place... We were near Harvey's, known for, uh, known for their burgers in Canada. Not sure if Harvey's is... Um, in any other country but Canada, but, um, it's a place, it's a fast food burger place here, and people like it, honestly, I'm not a really big fan of fast food burgers, um, mostly because near where I live, there's a diner that makes burgers, and you can get takeout, so whenever I do get a burger, and I'm, I'm, I'm a burger fan as much as the next guy, I can just go there, and it's better, there's a lot of places to get burgers that aren't, like, you know, also, the only real fast food place that uh, that I can think of close to here is a McDonald's, so, you know, why the hell would I, you know, and it's a really shitty McDonald's, so there you go. Uh, 2057. Okay, next place is... Um, P.O. What? Uh, okay, so we've got, uh, we've got a country, uh, lots of, like, accents and, and S's and K's, this could be Poland... Uh, the, the, the K's, uh, the K's, I love that, we've got little, uh, we got little, like, like, accents on, on a bunch of stuff, but you could also be in, like, um, like, uh, no, maybe, some, something like, something like this, alright, well, let's keep going, let's keep going on down the road and seeing if we can spot anything that would be, uh, that would be nice, so what have we got over here, we got, how, how are the license plates looking, are they, they are... Hmm, that's okay. You got a European one there. 
what about you guys? You, yo, you got one too. That's good to know. You got one. Okay, good. So we're in a country that's part of the EU. So that's nice to know. We got a big, we got a big old truck here. Maybe you can tell me, Tesco. Oh well, that's just. I guess is, is Tesco is Tesco much bigger than just the UK? I didn't actually know that. To be honest, I would have thought Tesco would have just been uh, a UK type thing, but uh, it could be it could be much bigger than that. All right. Well, I mean, okay. If Tesco is going to be in in any country other than the UK, I would say maybe we could find it in Poland. You know, it's it's probably the the it's probably the biggest country with a language that to me looks like that, or in my mind looks like that. Uh, again, very hard for me to tell. Oh God, what do we have here? Platinum. Yeah, but were the other words English? No. Okay, it didn't. It, they weren't English. Shamo Chodowa, uh, motor oil. Sure. Uh, mechanica, mechanica. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so that starts starting to make sense. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Poland. Feels feels right to me. What about uh, what about this stuff? What what do we got there? Oh, yeah, some Zeds. Oh, that's a good to know. Ninety four is ninety four big highway. Oh, they use E's and stuff. E's A ones. Oh God. Okay, yeah, they do use nineties. Um, 92, 92, S8, 70s, all right, well, I'm never gonna be able to find it like this, I mean, you know, all right, what about, what about, like, uh, what about this Ziola Agora, how about that, I'm fairly certain we're in Poland right now, uh, but I don't really know where in Poland we're gonna be, well, we're usually in, like, this, this area over here, so let's kind of go, like, over here, um, and I guess I might as well kind of try and get down here really quick, um, you know what, I'm just gonna make the guess, and uh, to be honest, we were, uh, down over here, I would say we were in between, like, Krakow and, uh, where I guessed, so, uh, there you go, near Rokla, uh, Rukla, I'm not really sure, but, uh, yeah, so, um, go, this place has changed names, no, it hasn't, okay, so, very, very cool indeed, we were down over there in Poland, quite good. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a North American road. Um, we've got climate that uh, looks Wawa. Oh, okay. Wawa is in northern Ontario. Wawa is it's like around here or something. No, where is Wawa again? I know I know of Wawa, but I forget where exactly it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're twenty kilometers away from this place. See. I was, um, what is it, there's like, when, when you're driving up to Sudbury, uh, from here, which means, uh, you're, like, you're, you're, you're going from where I live to, towards Sudbury, so you're going up this road here, like, somewhere along, like, right here on the road, there's a sign that says, Wawa, 730 kilometers away, 730, well, I mean, Wawa's not a big place, so, that's just, that's just, that's just real funny, but, Okay, 20 kilometers, in which direction? I mean, I could just go with Wawa, and then I could be right, or I could go for a gamble and get a little bit better. Uh, I think we are on, well, I don't see a lake, so 20 kilometers would probably put me over here. 20 kilometers could put me over here. It's hard to tell. Which road are we on? Let's go try and find that out. Uh, what have we got? We got you? All right, well, first of all, north is directly up. And we are driving towards Wawa, and north is directly up. So I should really just take that into consideration. If we're driving north and Wawa is 20 kilometers away, that means that we are most likely like right, right here or something. So let's go, uh, let's go do that. So we are right near, right near one of the, uh, right near one of the Great Lakes. Uh, that is very cool. I think we're. I don't know how much is 20 kilometers. I don't want to. I don't want to be off by too much. So what have we got on this sign over here? We've got uh, Wawa and we've got something Junkton. Uh, is there anything down over there? No. Okay, I can't really see anything. So I'm gonna say yeah, we were right there. That's where I'm gonna do half all. Make the guess. No. Uh, I guess we were going north there. Okay, so we were on that road. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's okay. We're 23 kilometers away. Honestly, if I would have guessed Wawa itself, it wouldn't have been much different than that. 49, 45. That's a good amount of points right there. Very nice. You know, 
So it turns out there's a place I've actually heard of, which is weird because I've never been there. I, the only reason I've really heard about it is because, I don't know, the name, it's kind of a silly name, so, you know, people say it. Um, and uh, the other reason for it is that sign that I mentioned earlier. You know, that sign really uh, really marked me when I was uh, taking, the, taking the drive up there when I was a youngster. I looked at that sign and I was like, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Why would you be announcing somewhere that is, like, almost a thousand kilometers away? And also, the the big part about it is that, like, it's really not a big place. But there you go. Um, 704 Real Estate. Ruddy Harper Team, or Rudy, probably. Uh, we're in America, I think. Not really sure. Um, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we were seeing miles an hour signs. I remember now why I established we were in America. I kind of forgot why. You got like forest and trees and stuff and, and lots of lots of weird things going along. I, I don't really know. Um, I can't, don't really see much. So let's go. Let's go in and, and see if we can spot anything. All right. Let's go. Do I see? Uh, do I see any good stuff? People proudly proudly flying. Nothing. No, no flags. But that's okay. We already established we were in America, right? So we don't need to. I don't need to be second guessing that. Maybe these garbage cans will offer some help. Actually, if there's, whoa, look at that. These kind of, so we've got to be relatively south. I'm thinking maybe we're in like uh, South Carolina. I think that, that that's probably uh, that's probably a fair enough guess. Let's see if these garbage cans can do anything. Um, Branton Sanitation or something like that. Well, what about you? The, 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 the something. The, yeah, okay, I mean, we're in North Carolina, because that could be Charlotte. The Charlotte something, right? It's, I, I don't know, I just, had, I just have one of the Carolinas on the mind, so that could be, like, um, the something, something. So that could be, like, uh, North Carolina, there could, that could be, like, we could be near Charlotte. That's a big, that's a big city with a C. Uh, we could, that could be the Chicago Tribune. But I, I don't really think that that's what is. It could be Charlotte seems the right length, honestly. So I'm thinking I said South Carolina. So why don't I go in like um? Why don't I say we're we're down over here then? Like like right over Rock Hill. Yeah. Why the hell not? Like right there. That looks good to me. Let's make the guess. Wow. Yeah, that was that was that was, that was a pretty damn accurate guess, honestly. I mean South Carolina. Seeing that, assuming that was Charlotte. Fuck, that was good. I really like that guess. I'm very happy with with how that turned out. Okay, coolio. We are in the UK somewhere. Um, but yeah, we're in the UK somewhere. Probably, probably Scotland, I would say. Uh, from the very little knowledge that I have about Scotland, uh, I think I think we're I think we're there. Uh, honestly, I guess we. I don't really know. I don't know if Ireland has an abundance of orange license plates. I mean, we could be we could be in Northern Ireland, um, but that's I don't know. I mean, that that's always a possibility. No car park. Do we see any like? Uh, do we see any writing that I would call? Um, no. We, okay, so we've got like some sort of no parking by RS. No parking. Uh, something lifeboat access. All right. All this stuff seems relatively normal. I'm going to say, I am going to say Scotland and uh, the fishing boat in something you can bring stuff. Yeah. So there's no, there's no peculiar writing. It appears to be all standard English, which is, which is good. I mean, that, that actually that does do something. What are the towns called? Uh, Alnwick, Denwick, Longhouten. Wow, that actually probably some really good clues. Wow, that's is that really how you say one and three quarters? That is weird. Um, okay, so uh, what is what about the Wicks? Do we got any Wicks over here? How about over here? How about Northern Ireland? Is there some Wicks over there? Um, no, not that I can see. Uh, how about some Wicks over here? Does does regular Ireland like Wicks? No. How about okay? So Scotland again. Uh. Lair, Gdupool, uh, Thurso, oh god, there's a, there's a Thurso near where I live in that place, you don't want to go there, uh, it smells really bad, 
uh, yeah, you don't want to go to, you don't want to go to, uh, but I think it's actually, there's no H, I think it's just Terso, to be honest, but that's okay, um, ah, oh, fuck, I can't find it, mm, that's not good, how about Wick, oh, there's some Wicks down here, oh, okay, so I guess we may be, I'm gonna say then, uh, then, oh, Alan Wick, oh, here's Al, here's, here's Alan Wick, oh, so, oh, so we're in Northern England, oh, weird, okay, where's, where's Denwick, do we see it, do I see Denwick, I see Belford, how about Long Houghton? Uh, so we got, we're five kilometers away from there, uh, in what direction? Fuck if I know. Uh, the, the Long Houghton's there, one and three quarters, that means we're in, uh, Lesbury. Uh, sure, make the guess. Kind of. We were in Bolm, near Bolmer, Beach View. Yeah, okay, makes sense. 61, 86. So we got some really good guesses on that one. 19,713. You know, Australia is kind of running out of time talking about, like, golf and cottages and mice and stuff. Uh, then we got Poland. I mean, that's as good as I can do. Uh, but then when it's when there are signs that I can read, apparently this time I, I really was kind of knocking it out of the park here. We got uh, Wawa. I knew, I knew where that was, so we got that uh, representing my, my, my home province knowledge. Uh, then we got, uh, you know, South Carolina came to mind, and then we saw a box that said there was like a sea, it was a, mis a mysterious sea city, so I figured it would be Charlotte. Uh, then we had, um, you know, the, 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 the old, where do the sheep in Scotland hide? In England is the answer. The sheep in Scotland actually live in England, down in, in this sort of area over here. Um, we were near, yeah, we were right near over here. 19,713 points. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will be seeing you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.